Okay, gotta go find this fucking mineral water! We just got a rental car, kind of spontaneously. We're going to head up to Sneifelsnes Peninsula, where you can see Kirkjufeld, the iconic mountain with the, the waterfalls in front. We're also going to stop by some abandoned houses that are on the map. Uh, there's a hot spring up there. There's also this mineral spring where the water is like slightly naturally carbonated. Super excited about that. And Jason is going to be our safe driver for today. <laughs> I will be your conductor for this evening. <laughs> Welcome to the night bus. Also, we're pretty stoked because the clouds have moved out of the way, which means our chances for seeing the northern lights have drastically improved. So we're hoping to be out there in the middle of nowhere and have a beautiful canvas for seeing, seeing the northern lights. All right, we're gonna stop first and get some coffee so that we can survive the rest of the day. We have a lot planned. <laughs> It's really deep snow over here. mission to find this magical like mineral spring. I think we turned the wrong way <laughs> but the view out here is insane. Yeah we just decided since we took a wrong turn why not just hike up this big squishy hill. There is Jason. reached as far as we can go because the rest of it's moss and you're not supposed to step on the moss because it takes a really long time to grow and it's sort of like Iceland's pride. But from up here we can see our car all the way down there and a bunch of, well not a bunch, like one car every like 10 minutes drive past and I'm pretty sure they're looking for this mineral spring too. <laughs> So I think we're on our way, um, it's been kind of a, of a time trying to find it, um, and it's all, I think since it snowed recently, the ground is super, super marshy, so you step and it's just like, yeah, pretty gross. I think I read something from, I think it's called, oh, I 
I'll link it below. It's a website I found. It's written by an Icelandic woman, and she shares directions on how to get to this this uh, mineral spring. We're sort of just following the GPS at this point because it is marked on a map, but the trail to get here is not marked. So, kind of just hoping we're heading in the right direction. Jason likes it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> It's a nice hike wherever we're going. <laughs> cool. Turn it around. It's an old horseshoe, it looks like. <sighs> this is so oh. relaxing, huh? Oh. Yeah? You don't want to take it with us? Okay. <laughs> oh my god, you made it! Woo! Do a dance! Oh, okay. My foot is, okay? Yep, okay. Just propel yourself up. Oh! Oh! We got stuck on the other side! Ah! I was trying to jump there and Jason's like, you can do it! And I was like, ah, okay, gotta go find this fucking mineral water! So supposedly, there was a sign. And we drove around, we don't see the sign. But it's uh, geolocated on Google Maps. So we just parked at the sort of parking lot that we found. Um, and then we've just been hiking around I could really use that water about now. Um, but yeah, we're kind of trying to use the uh, what data we have still running, but I think a SIM card would have worked better now that I'm thinking back. After our wild goose chase through really marshy mud and knee-high snow, we did not find this magical mineral spring. I'm thinking what happened was, on top of our GPS not really giving the exact location, I think the snow was too deep. Um, there's no like land marker for it, so you just have to see flat ground and see this like little creek. And my my suspicion is that it's just covered in snow and so we can't actually see it. Not super bummed because, I mean, we still had an incredible hike and next time we come out we're definitely gonna find this thing. Now we're going to go warm up in some hot springs that are marked on a map and close to the road, so we should be able to find them this time.
We're near sundown right now, so we're on our way to Kikifelt and there's also this really interesting abandoned house that I'm about to go in. Ooh, spooky. We just pulled up on the side of the road uh, because the view of the sunset over the waters and the white mountains is beautiful. Oh, it's really cold out. Jason's too excited. <laughs> He's right there. Our fluid is just freezing in this cold. Oh. Sure, there is a chance of it, but. <sighs> I just have to be smart about this today. We made it to Kirkufeld. We're gonna kind of camp out, eat some food in our car, and the guys are still clear. The forecast for Northern Lights is supposed to be pretty good today, so we're gonna see the lights tonight. <laughs> What happened? <laughs> I slipped. You okay? Yeah. <sighs> at least, was it at least a soft landing? Yeah, I mean, my butt fell in the snow. Oh, it's a little tender. <sighs> All right. Oh, it's 916 p.m. right now, and the sun is still hanging on here. It's really crazy. You can see it 
over here. It's darker, but it's definitely not going down just yet. Um, someone told us that every day the sun stays up for six minutes longer. We're gonna find a little spot for us to be able to pull over for kind of camping out for the lights. It's really weird because it just looks like my head's moving. <laughs> oh, stop it! <laughs>